Howdy folks, Chris here from CC Detecting Scrapping with the, uh, another What's In It video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I take apart microwaves. Um, I don't strip them fully down, but I take out uh, the transformers and stuff like that. And I got a pretty big microwave the other day in a pickup, so I just thought I'd show you how to take it apart. So here's the beast of a microwave I got. It's uh, one of the older Kenmore style ones. Um, what I do with these is I usually take the, the outer shell off, like I do with TVs. Take the outer shells off, save the screws. Um, I, I strip out all the stuff on this side. It's usually a transformer, um, some wiring, uh, motors in there, stuff like that. Um, I tend to leave the, um, what is it, the magnetron or whatever, as well as the, um, the beryllium uh, device that's in there. Um, a lot of people say they're safe unless you break them. Uh, I just rather not risk it. The beryllium is known to cause cancer and, and other bad stuff, I believe it is. So, hey, why risk it? Just take out what you need and leave that few cents in there for uh, the other stuff. So anyway, uh, let me take the shell off and I'll just show you what's inside. So uh, first thing I did was I, I took out the glass tray. Uh, sometimes they come with it, sometimes they don't. Um, I've, I've been told that these actually sell pretty good on um, your local auction sites like eBay or Kijiji or whatnot. Um, this one is broken, so I won't be trying to sell it, but uh, I may be able to use it for something. I, I won't throw it right away. You never know. Uh, so what I'm going to do, well, as I try to smash it there, it's, that was a good job, Chris. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the screws here around the frame. Uh, we've got quite a few here. Um, as well as uh, some here in the bottom to take off, and then down the side. And then I'll also take these ones out as well. So let me uh, pop all those off, we'll get this shell off, and I'll show you what's inside. Alright, so I, I took out all the screws here, I left the ones on the bottom, uh, as well as these ones for now, just so I can uh, take this off here and show you what's inside. There we go. Sorry for the noise, we'll just put that to the side. We are going to use it, we're going to put it back on, but uh, let's just see what we got in here. So we got, uh, looks to be a, a switch of some type there. A little bit of wiring, uh, there's another switch, a uh, fuse, uh, there's a circuit board for the front panel which will probably have a mylar behind that. And then, let me, uh, here, just let me pause this for a second, I'll spin it around. There we go, now I can show you what's in this side here. So we got uh, another tiny little switch here, a um, bunch of wires. Um, these little switches here on the sides will have um, little silver contacts in them when you take them apart. Same as uh, these ones has a little transformer on the board. Um, you can see the silver mylar here sticking out, so we'll pull that off. Uh, we got the power cable, and then we got a big transformer here. And uh, this is the fan with a uh, little motor on it. Uh, let's start by pulling out some of the wires that we can just off these connectors here, and then that'll clean things up. And then uh, I'll show you what's what's next. All right, so we got a pretty good little chunk of wire there. Uh, a little wire harness, whatever you want to call them, as well as a uh, not bad size little power cable, little brass ends on it. Uh, so now that we have this all cleaned up, I'll show you a little bit more things in here. So uh, again, like I said, here are the switches. So we got uh, three switches that we're going to take out. Uh, we also got the circuit board here, and then uh, we got to take out this motor and this transformer. Inside here, now that we can see a little bit better, it looks like we have another little switch here. I'll pop out. Um, these, uh, I want to call them magnetrons, but I can't recall if that's the correct term or not. Um, these uh, sometimes are aluminum, metal, um, but inside there's a little, um, it's usually pink in color, and it's called beryllium, I believe it is, and that's the, uh, that's the bad stuff in there. It's all right as long as you don't get the dust going, I'm told, but like I said before, uh, I don't see a need to risk it. It's not really worth that much to me to, to put that kind of risk out there. But all the rest of the stuff here is not too bad. So let me pop this thing off here. I'll pop this transformer out. And uh, we'll see about getting the circuit board out as well and these switches. And then we'll see what's next. So I got that circuit board out, as you can see. Um, to get at the silver mylar, though, I needed to remove. There's two screws up here as well as another one down there. And that just pulls out this little front plate here. And then inside there we have another screw there and two there that we're going to take out. And then we should be able to get at that silver mylar. Uh, one thing that I, 
I'd recommend that you don't do is there's a latch on these. Um, so you got a clip here. What I do is I, uh, as I fill these full of stuff before I take them to the scrapyard, like uh, with all my screws and that that are loose, they, they're great for that. Uh, I'll show that in another video where I do some tips around uh, working in a small shop that I have. But uh, yeah, like these things are, you know, they're, they, they're sackable and they're, you can fill them full of uh, screws and tin, small tin pieces and all that other stuff that take up a lot of room. And you're just adding weight to your load and you're making it more condensed, which is always good. So let me uh, let me finish taking that one apart, and then we'll go from there. Just uh, oh, sorry. There's also a capacitor in here. Uh, I tend not to play with these either. They do hold a charge because that's what they're for. So I just leave those as part of the microwave, and I uh, just leave them there. So I just got a couple of uh, switches to pop off over there, and then uh, we're good to put the the shell back on. So just give me a moment. All right. So I got everything separated out uh, now, ready to be weighed. Uh, this is what we have in here. We have uh, some insulated uh, wire, uh, low grade board, big transformer, some stripped wire, little irony aluminum, uh, that's more tin, little silver mylar, some plastic connectors, little tiny bits of copper which came out of the, um, the light fixture, some switches, these will have uh, silver contacts in them, uh, a little bit of cast there as well. So let me get uh, these weighed out that I'm going to weigh out. Uh, some of these smaller things like this and um, this little tiny switch here and stuff like that. I'm not going to weigh those, but uh, I'll weigh out some of the other stuff like the brass and the stripped wire. So let me uh, finish that up and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so I got everything weighed out here. Uh, just again, um, I didn't weigh out the silver mylar uh, or the uh, these little switches here. The, little tiny bits of brass and copper that's in this pile. Um, I did weigh out the rest of it though, so you get a pretty good idea what's inside this type of microwave anyway. Uh, for tin, now I have to quote their, uh, you know, make an asterisk I guess beside this tin steel. This microwave weighs more than what um, my 25 pound scale will weigh out. Uh, so it's more than 25 pounds, but the tin that I took out of it uh, was just over just under two pounds, so one pound, 10.6 10, ounces or 760 grams, plus uh, at least 25 pounds, maybe uh, probably closer to 30, 35 pounds of tin steel altogether in one of those. Uh, the irony aluminum, which is a little bit of motor bit here, uh, 78 grams or 2.8 ounces. The cast aluminum, which came off the other parts of the mo uh, motor, 43 grams or one and a half ounces. The dirty brass, uh, that's the, the clipped ends there. Uh, 31 grams or 1.1 ounces. The plastic connectors, which uh, I'm not sure if you can or not, but I, I'm going to try and get dirty brass for those. 14 grams or half an ounce. Uh, the copper transformer, that's that big guy right there. It came in at uh, 9 pounds, 14.7 ounces or 4.5 kilograms. Um, these, uh, I'll show in another video how I break them apart. Uh, a fellow by the name of Jack the Scrapper. Uh, I watched one of his videos years ago and thought it was the best way of doing it. So when I when I get a few of those, I'll I'll show you how to I break those apart. They're it's a lot of fun. Um, the insulated wire came in at uh, 114 grams or four ounces. The stripped copper wire, which is uh, from the power cord and the uh, the tiny fan motor, it came in at 12 and, or sorry 125 grams or 4.4 .4 ounces. The low grade board just under 300 grams or 10 and a half ounces, and that's about it. So like I was saying there, I like to, uh, taking apart microwaves because I use them for storage as well. I throw in as much as I can in the uh, microwaving compartment and then they stack nicely. So you end up getting, uh, you know, compact in space and in my little area that's that's always beneficial. So anyway, um, so that's about it for the microwave. There's no real gotchas in it. Um, they all come apart pretty much the same. The smaller ones are just more compact, but it's all the same stuff in them. Uh, like I, I like I said, I don't take apart that one magnetron or whatever it is. I know people will take those apart for the magnets, but uh, and the bit of aluminum, I myself don't really care too much about that, and I just throw it in with my tin steel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it partially informative, or you know, inform super informative. And uh, anyway, hope you had fun watching it because I had fun taking it apart. Uh, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day, folks. Ciao.